Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today is a lifestyle video, guys. I'm going to unpack my groceries that I purchased for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to say the next couple of weeks with some stuff and then a week for the others. Let's jump into it. And I'm going to have a little chat with you guys about eating healthy, guys. You know... We know that a lot of the foods that we do have here and available for us in certain areas are not the best. So it's up to us to really figure out what works best with our body. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I juice. Well, I don't want to call it juicing. It is kind of like juicing, but I make like a lot of smoothie, smoothies, even if they're green smoothies. But the other day I decided to make a smoothie style drink with a bunch of stuff, but just green. And I ended up squeezing it with a cheesecloth, with cheesecloth, which was so much work, guys. But I'm gonna say how I felt that day was completely different opposed to like how I felt, how I feel when I drink my fruit juice. I'm not gonna take the fruit juice out, but I'm gonna go back incorporating more green juice into my lifestyle. Which means I'm gonna have to get another juicer or a juicer um i seen one that i like it's a little pricey but it's very convenient so i think that's what i'm paying for the convenience but i'm gonna probably get that in the next month or so but let's jump into my stuff that i purchased um uh, but i'm gonna talk to you guys about something that i saw on youtube there's a guy he's an older gentleman probably about 55 um the mushroom he's about 55 and he, I guess he was diagnosed with, um, not pancreas cancer. What's the other cancer? I forget. I forget the other one. It's gonna pop into my head. But, oh, prostate. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And I just so happened to come across him. This is how I know the universe be working, child, because I was trying to find someone that I can follow and just get like juice ideas. I do have a book here and stuff, but I'd rather just watch it online. And I came across this story. So he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2015. And um, he just decided to take his life into his own hand. You know, he says, you know, doctors don't know everything, which is true. We Everybody knows that. Um, it's no secret. But he puts matters into his own hand. So those are the two styles of mushrooms that I get. One is Hen of Wood and the other one is Hetri, Het, Hetri or Hetri, Champagne, Champignon? I don't know. Beach Mushroom. Oh, I guess that's, that's, <laughs> I guess that was it in another language, but Beach Mushroom. So they both come in like these little packs. So, is it gonna, is it gonna, um, I don't even know if it's gonna show you guys. Cause you guys already know. Come on, I don't know. But, so I get like three of one and two of the other. So anyway, so he said he started juicing and stuff and pretty much taking his life into his own hands, right? I have some bell pepper. So watching his channel, just going through like his shorts and stuff, you know, he's just, he's been juicing for forever. And here's the thing guys, he looks, he's 55. That man looked like, <laughs> he looked like he's in his early 40s, okay? Like, I'm just saying early 40s. He looks like he's in his early 40s. So, his skin is glowing. He just looks really, really healthy and stuff. And, you know, I could appreciate him sharing his story to us about, you know, being sick at one point and now just being healthy and stuff like that. I love it because I think people need to see it, um, hear it, hear stories because cancer is something that runs rapid, right? Um, so just to see someone talk about their story and healing, it's perfect. Uh, I have some cucumbers. All of this is going to get cleaned with apple cider vinegar or vinegar, whichever one I have left. Um, so cucumbers, some red peppers orange peppers my other peppers are somewhere around here 
where is it? Oh, right here. Um, I usually buy organic. And people always say, oh, what's the difference between organic? Listen, all I know is that when I buy non-organic, it's always some crap on the fruits and vegetables. Like, a lot more stuff comes off. Um, so I just don't do it. Well, I, I really try not to, unless I'm desperate for something. So here is the green pepper. I got two of these, so I buy, I buy six. Get those out the way. I'll pan over when I'm done to show you guys like everything that I got. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like a lot, but I have a lot of grains and stuff like quinoa, wild rice, um, kamut and spelt that I actually use, you know, with this as my like rice, I guess you could say. So that's my green peppers and stuff. Let me move some of this over here. So yeah, so he pretty much healed him. I don't want to say he healed himself. I don't, he's never talked about like taking chemotherapy or anything like that, but I'm sure he feels amazing. He looks really good. Some strawberries. Now, I have to get these non-organic because I know at this time they're probably out of season, but I need strawberries in my life. I have my grapes. But anyway, I say all that to say, it's a good idea to take matters into your own hand. Um, these are seeded guys, okay? It's really hard to find seeded grapes in this world, <laughs> uh, but I did. So here's some of the things that I don't, I'm not supposed to buy, which is this. I didn't even go to my other mart to get my, my um, burrow bananas because I still have some. So I, I buy two plantains, which is terrible for me as well. <laughs> but I need those in my life. That's the Caribbean in me, okay? I get, I always buy, I don't buy a bag of onions. I get like two or three at a time. I have some here. Um, so I buy two. I think I have like four left. Um, I have some dandelion, fresh dandelion. Love it. So actually when I started juicing last week, I had dandelion, kale, Granny Smith green apple, ginger, and it was one more thing. Kale, Granny Smith, dandelion, ginger. I don't know, I feel like I had five things in there. Oh, cucumber. So that's that. I usually buy my my kale. So this week, I'm noticing they being cheap with the kale. So I got two bunches in here. And then I got another two bunches over here. Another two bunches over here. Okay. So all of this is getting clean tonight and packed away. I have my cherry tomatoes. I get two, two of these. And I usually get the organic one. Um, I have two of those, okay. Then I have some peaches, good old peaches guys for some oatmeal, which I use, you guys know I use Kamut. And I purchased a guava. I never had a guava, but I'm gonna make me some guava juice. I don't even know how to, I don't know, I don't know, does it get right? I have no idea, but I'm gonna look it up. But I, I bought one just to see if I could actually get it to ripen. Um, I got a cantaloupe, of course. So, you know, I never knew how to pick cantaloupe, but a friend of mine told me that if you look at it and it has like, it looks like it's been sitting in the sun, then it's a good one. So it has like that mark or whatever. It's been working for me. I don't know if that's proper, but it has been working for me. So that's the cantaloupe. 
So guys, yes, let's try to be as healthy as we can. And I hate when people say, oh, we're gonna die anyway. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that's guaranteed in life, right? But who wants to be in pain? Like, I'm so serious. Watching my mom, my grandmother, and my aunt all pass away from breast cancer, I'm not trying to feel that. Like, I don't wanna feel that. That type of pain, you know, they couldn't really do anything about, you know, having that pain and stuff. Papaya. Papaya stink, guys. It smells like feet. <laughs> it do. But it's good for you. All right, let's see what else I got here. I bought some pomegranate. Now, I saw a pomegranate peeler or opener or whatever. So I'm gonna try to make a juice with this. Um, try to make a juice with that. I got some plums. I got some plums here. And I got a bag of key limes today. I usually don't buy a bag, but I'm gonna put them in my juice this week. So that's that on this side. Let me grab grapeseed oil, you guys. Grapeseed oil. All right, let's do this. Eating healthy, eating healthy. I do see people doing like vlogs and stuff and they'll have like frozen fruit, frozen dishes. Those are not good at all guys. They're just not good for you. I'm not supposed to have pepper, but I bought some black pepper. I got some oregano, I ran out. Some garlic salt that I'm not supposed to have either. And here's my, here's my other cheat. This is my cheat right here. It got sesame seeds, but I like to eat it with guacamole. It's, it's a really small bag, like when you actually look at it, it's not a lot in there. And those are the blue sesame seeds. Chips. I got some pears this week. I'm gonna juice some pears. I'm gonna do pear, lime, key lime, and green apple, probably some dandelion, and some, some kale also and then oh i forgot i picked this up this coconut i bought one and i asked the guy how do i open it and he said to me do i have a machete and i said no so i don't i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna open it <laughs> that's why i only bought one i want to try it out i want to try it out to see if I could get it open. Okay. Got my papaya. I'm actually gonna pour this all out of the bags because, except for that. So I could get the cleaning them. I'm gonna leave the, the peaches in the bag for now and the plums. And I'll leave the papaya like that. And I will leave the pears in the bag on the counter. They're gonna be washed tonight though. All right, so if you are in Georgia, the DeKalb Farmer's Market is where it's at. I always buy another, what do you call this? Quinoa all the time because I don't ever wanna run out. Some hemp seed. They have hemp seed powder. Um, these are sereno peppers. Sereno peppers. I like to make like a little stir fry with those. And here's the noodles that I get. Can you guys see that? I use these noodles. They do not taste like elbow noodles, but they're healthy a healthier alternative to regular noodles. Um, I got some fresh burdock. I'm gonna try to put this in my, my blender and blend it up and see if it works. If it does not, I'm just gonna just hold out until I get my juicer. But I wanna start adding this into my juice. I have regular burdock that is already chopped up for a tea. I got some, ooh, 
some Thai basil. When I make Thai, Thai basil quinoa. <laughs> Thai basil quinoa. All right. Let me see. And then I have some zucchini, which looks just like cucumber, but the tip is different. I'm gonna clean all this off tonight. It's my zucchini. Zucchini, cucumber. Okay. Let's put this here. All of this is getting clean tonight. <laughs> It takes me about 30 minutes, I believe. Let me drink some tea. About 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I gotta clean my kale as well, my dandelion. So I buy the aloe for my, my hair. So this is for the hair. Okay. guys know I gotta rack up on my walnuts. Got some walnuts. I'm just gonna put some stuff over here because this looks crazy. I did get some more pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are good for you guys. All right, I usually make my own little trail mix. And then I got some Dates. I love a date. Now people eat them. I saw a lady take a date and put, what did she, did she put peanut butter in the middle? And she froze it, she dipped it in chocolate. She said it tastes like Snickers. I was like, hmm. I don't eat peanut butter, but that sounds pretty good. <laughs> And then a guy on TikTok, he actually did the video over too. Um, all right, and then I got avocado. Got some avocados over here. You gotta clean your avocados off because these things be all over the place. So I got some avocado. Let's put these on the counter. Avocado. And then my Granny Smith apples, green apples. And what else? All right guys, so you know, trying to be healthy as best as you can. I'll say this, it's not, it's easy for me now, but when I was starting, I don't even want to say it was hard. I just was like, I cold turkey. I stopped eating meat literally overnight like no more and then I got some spelt bread so spelt bread this one is probably the most the one that I feel like that is like the best the only thing that it has in here that I don't like is that it has yeast in it but other than that it has sprouted spelt filtered water honey what time am I supposed to have honey sea salt and that's it Literally, that's it in this bread. So, when I eat this bread, I don't feel bloated. When I eat this pasta, I don't feel bloated. So those are good ways to know that you're eating things that are good for your body, right? So let's put this over here. I'm gonna sit this over here because sometimes it's a little oily from the package. All right, so that's it, guys. So that, it doesn't look like a lot when I, oh, and my mangoes. Let's show you my mangoes. I get a whole box of mangoes. <laughs> These are by Kent. Kent has amazing mangoes. Had it not been for that lady, that Indian lady that I met, that told me, cause I, I knew about them, I just didn't know that it was a thing. Um, when she pointed that out, I make sure I always get those. So, this is everything that I have, guys. I'm gonna bring the camera over and do it vlog style really quick so you guys can see. 
So bear with me. Then I'll cut this little piece out. So here's everything that I got, guys. All of my stuff. All of my stuff. My greens. That, the cucumber sitting in the sink. Um, let's come over here. Here's my mangoes, my green apple, my bread, avocado, dates, my nuts. And that's it, guys. This is what I eat in a week. All right. This is me, well, two weeks. This is what I eat, okay? The majority of my other stuff, my grains and stuff are already here. I have a lot of that. And yeah, that's it guys. Let me turn the camera around so you guys can see me. Sign off. So, <laughs> so, all right guys, so that is it for this video. I just wanted to bring you guys into my kitchen really quick and see the things that I eat. Super excited for this week and trying out some new fruit that I've never tried, like this guava. But if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY in my style blog, Coco Styles NYC in my styling services, Coco Styles NY. And guys, let's move this camera. You know I'm on TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, Coco Styles, NYC. And I will catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Stay healthy. Bye.